Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello Victor. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Very well, thank you. How are you doing? I haven't seen you like for like one week or something like that. Um no lo había visto como por una semana. Sí veo que se ha estado conectando un poco tarde. Sí, hoy sí, hoy me conecté temprano. Ayer tuve, ayer fui a los nueve días de un, fui a misa de la mamá de una amiga, después fui a los nueve días de un cuñado de, de mi mamá, eh, que el día fui a una vela y así, algo pesada la semana. Sí, últimamente igual, eh, velas por aquí, velas por allá. Sí. Pero es muertes naturales. Ok. Es difícil. It's always sad and it's tired. Ajá. Uh -huh. It finished model. It finished uh, model three. No. It's second. Well, the section. Huh? We finished section four. Section four. Ah. Uh, in the uh -huh. platform. Is uh, ninety ninety five. Mm. Uh, where where uh, where are you going in the platform? Where have you stopped? Hasta dónde uh, ha parado en la plataforma? Ahorita solo me faltan los escuchar unos audios. Okay. Okay. Um, did you do the midterm exam? El midterm lo hizo, Victor? Sí, todo. Ah, okay. Very good. Okay. So yesterday we were pending with the explanation of um, how to um, invite someone to do something. And basically, um, I was going to show you while well, here in the platform, this is what you have in the platform. When you are accepting an invitation, right? This is the structure for accepting an invitation. Okay, first the subject, then you use the auxiliary would. After would, the verb like, then the particle to, and the, the main word, and then the complement. For example, yes. I would like to go to her new house, right? Okay. I is the subject, would, auxiliary. The verb like, in this case, the verb can be love too. I would like, I would love, right? And then the infinity verb, that is two plus verb. And then yeah. the complement. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. This is when you are accepting an invitation, right? Okay, so in the question form, this is what we study in the question. Would you like to, and then the verb, right? Would you like to, and then you have to say a verb. Would you like to go to the beach with me? Would you like to play video games with me? Would you like to have dinner together? Yes? Esa es la estructura para hacer la invitación. Would you like to? Luego de would you like to, un verbo, dependiendo lo que, a, a lo que esté invitando a la persona. Si es a beber, el verbo sería drink. Would you like to drink a couple of beers on Friday? 
Can you give an example? Um, would you like yeah. to would you like to go a uh, buy go uh, to buy go to buy to buy a, a clothes ah sure i'd love to when <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow okay that's nice would you like to go shopping can be would you like to go to shop okay. clothes that's interesting nice invitation a nice example. Rene, can you give an example of an invitation? Would you like uh, would you like to go to would you like to go beach more uh, tomorrow in morning? Would you like to go to the beach tomorrow morning? That's nice, excellent. For a breakfast in a posada with quesadillas. Nice. Ooh. Rich. <laughs> Delicious quesadillas in a posada. Okay, uh, Victor, can you give an example making an invitation? So, would you like to go uh, play in the softball? Would you like to go to play softball or soccer? No, softball. Okay, sure. Nice. Rebecca? <laughs> Uh, exercise on the Friday. On Friday, would you like to go to exercise on Friday in the Bicentenario Park? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> nice example. That's yeah. it. Now, when you accept the invitation, you can say, yes, I would. Cuando usted acepta la invitación, puede decir, yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to, thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go, mm -hmm. for example. Let's make an example here. Uh, William, would you like to, would you like to, would you like to drink a coffee in a Starbucks with me on Saturday? Yes, I will. Okay, perfect. Now invite someone else, invite a otro compañero y el otro compañero acepte. Aquí están los ejemplos. Uh, uh, ok, René. Ok. Uh, would you like to, to go to eat a piece of cake? Yes, I love to. Thanks. Ok, excellent. Now it's your <laughs> turn, René. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, William, uh, would you like to go? Would you like to uh, drink uh, a beer this Saturday? Uh, for me? Yes. Oh, yes. I really like to go. Okay, perfect. Well done. Go. Now let's invite Rebecca. Invitemos a Rebecca algún lado. <laughs> Victor. Yeah, Rebecca. What do you like to play a game, Rebecca? Yes, I go. Okay, excellent job. Uh -huh. Now, when you're giving an excuse, cuando usted se va, va a dar una excusa porque no puede o porque no se siente de ánimo, por lo que sea que usted no acepta una invitación, puede hacerlo de esta manera. Me gustaría. Usted dice, I'd like to, but, pero tengo que hacer algo. En este caso, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Me encantaría, pero tengo que trabajar hasta tarde. Me encantaría, pero necesito ahorrar dinero. Me encantaría, pero 
Quiero visitar a mis padres. Ok, so different ways. Being polite, no solo se dice no. <laughs> I can't. Se okay. da una excusa, okay. me encantaría, pero I would like to what? And you give an excuse. Ahora demos excusas. Hay que hacer refuse. Ok. Um, okay. Rene. Okay. Rene, would you like to go to San Miguel with me on Sunday? I, I like to, but uh, I can't, but, uh, but, I, but I have uh, exercise in the gym. Oh, you have to exercise in the gym. Okay, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> now <laughs> you have to make an invitation to another classmate. Uh, okay. It's your turn. Okay, uh, Rebecca. Uh, would you like to to go uh, at the park on Saturday? Rebecca? Ah, yes, bien. Um, I do like to boot or to boot? I I'd like even... to, but I'd like to, but I. I like to, but, I see. Uh-huh, I'd like to, but. Uh-huh. To, to spend more. <coughs> I'd like to, but I have to. Tiene que decir me encantaría, pero. Hasta ahí es, I'd like to, but. Me encantaría, pero. Después del pero, tiene que decir, tengo que hacer tal cosa. I like to, but I have to work, for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like to, but I need it. Going to need it to save money. Okay, that's good, Rebecca. Good. Now ask another classmate. Would you like to ask another classmate, Rebecca? Okay. You can ask to William or Victor. Okay. Would you like to walk and then back? Would you like to go? Uh huh. And then back for to money. The bank. Uh huh. To the bank for money. Okay. Uh who? Victor or William? Uh, William. I I like to, but I have a season in my work. I'm sorry. Okay, good. Now we will invite Victor. Uh, hello, Victor. Would you like hello. to go to the beach tomorrow? I like to, but I need need you to send the money. Sorry, it's a and um, and uh, beach is a beautiful, um, I'm sorry, not money. It's a already, a, okay. a, 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 save, okay. aquí, aquí donde dice save es ahorrar. Save money, volver a repetir, save money. I need to save money, okay, perfect, well done. So now you can work in this part in the platform, pueden ejercitar esa parte en la plataforma. And then we can move the other part of the platform that we were skipping is um, we have a reading there. And then in the section number five, we're gonna start section number five, talking about family, family members. Here in this, we have some here. Let's read this and practice pronunciation, cousin. 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 Daughter. 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 Father. Father. Grandmother. 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 Niece. Niece. Sister in law. Sister in law. Uncle. 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 Wife. 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 Is there a new vocabulary here for you? 
Sister-in-law. Sister-in-law. Sister-in-law sería cuñada. Todo lo que sea por parte de la pareja. Cuñado. Cuñada. ¿Cómo se llama la suegra? El suegro. Gran suegra. Gran suegro. No, Snake. No, este. Uh, <ríe> no, yo sé. Todos ellos, todos los que son por parte de la familia de la pareja, termina en in law. Oh, okay. Esta terminación in law es para decir cuñada, sister in law. Cuñado <coughs> sería brother in law. Brother in law. Suegra. Mother in law. Excelente, mother in law. Ella es suegra. Uh, Suegro hey. sería. Father in law. Father in law. Todos ellos son in law. Father in law, brother in law. I believe. I believe. I believe ogre. ¿Hm? Eh, no, no, creí que se decía ogro, el suegro. Ah, Shrek. <laughs> Very nice. And then, <laughs> los que son como adoptivos, se dicen, mm -hmm. um, ahorita se los escribo. Cuando son como padrastro, que fea, ¿dónde mm -hmm. está el texto? Acá. Esos son step. <coughs> step. Step. Si el padrastro es stepfather, mm -hmm. madrastra step es igual stepmother, mm -hmm. yeah, hermanastro, stepbrother, step brother and stepsister, stepsister, step sister, sister, uh -huh. step and mother, step and father, stepmother. Es madrastra, stepfather, padrastro, hermanastro, stepbrother, y la hermanastra, stepsister. Okay. Mm. Y luego tenemos los in-law, que son por parte de la familia. Alguien preguntó el significado de niece, ¿verdad? Niece yes. es... Sobrina. Ah, uh, okay. Nis es sobrina. Para no. masculino, para decir sobrino, es nephew. Este que está acá, nephew. Nephew. Ajá, sobrino. Okay. Sobrina es nis, sobrino, nephew. Okay. Los primos y primas es una sola palabra, es cousin. Ese es para femenino y masculino, cousin. Luego, sobrino, niece, sobrino, perdón, cousin, and, espérenme, ¿dónde estaba? Aquí sí. abajo está, ya me confundí Nip toda. Ok, cousin es primo o prima, ¿ya? <coughs> niece, sobrina, niece, sobrino. Okay. Okay. Entonces, esto ya los conocemos, ¿verdad? Grandfather and... ¿Cuál sería acá? Grandfather and... Grandmother. 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 Ajá. And here? ¿Qué falta Father aquí? and mother. Father and mother. Ajá. Aunt and... Uncle. Uncle. Ajá. Aunt and uncle. Aquí es husband and his... And his girlfriend. Uh, wife. Wife. Uh -huh. His wife. Husband and his wife. Brother and? Brother and sister. Brother and sister. Uh -huh. And then here is missing. Well, she, Teresa, would be cousin, right? Son and? And daughter. 
daughter, uh -huh. daughter. son uh -huh. and daughter. And here what it says, nephew, the other is? Okay, yeah. Niece. Niece. Yes. Niece. Uh -huh. Niece, and Niece. Niece and nephew. Okay, this is just to make a review about the family vocabulary. And uh, well, in the in the platform, you will see this conversation in which we talk about family. Asking about family. This is the exercise that you have there. Asking about family. Look at the picture. Can you describe the picture? What do you see in the picture? Yeah. Um, okay, there is a, a lady and a man, mm -hmm. right? What do you think when yeah. you look at her? What do you think she does? What does she do? Uh, what is yeah. her job or her occupation? What do you think? A lawyer. A secretary. A lawyer, probably a lawyer. Secretary. Uh, a secretary, probably. Uh huh. Uh, engineer. No. Um, to the FBB. Oh, maybe she works for the FBI. What about this boy? This. Uh, what do you think is uh, his uh, photographer? Photographer, is a photographer? Probably. Uh, uh, okay, no, let's read enough. the conversation and practice. Repeat, please. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Tell me about, Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Well, well my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? Oh, oh what, does, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. I am I'm not sure. Not, I'm not she's sure. Working she's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? Wow. wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. He's a wildlife, He's a wildlife, 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 wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? That's what an what are interesting in family. family. Can I meet him? Sure, but not now. My sister is away. She's not working in the United States this month. Sure, sure uh, but now, not sure now. Away. My sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? And your brother? And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. He's traveling, she the is traveling in the Amazon. Okay, listen, let's listen to volunteers to practice the conversation. Two volunteers. William. Okay, good yeah. William. And no puedo levantar la mano. Yeah, I am so. Uh, okay, okay Rene. Okay. I am so. I am Rita. Okay. okay. Start. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. So. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a worldwide photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet him? Sure, uh, but not now. I'm a sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? Uh, he's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, nice, nice job, very nice. Now let us change. Now okay. you start, okay. William. I, I start. Oh, uh, ahora empieza René. Yes. Okay. Uh, tell, me, tell me about uh, your brother and sister, sir. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? 
I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what's the ball, your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. I, when I'm in the Russian family, can I meet them? Sure, but not now. My sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, nice. Okay. Now let's listen to Vic, um, Victor and Rebecca. Rebecca. Are you there, Rebecca? Yes, I Okay. Really? Let me go to brother and sister Sue. Yeah, my sister works for the government. Oh, what do you? What? What does, does she do? do? Uh -huh. I, am sure. do? I am not sure. I am sure. She is on very secret project right now. Well, I want to ask your brother. He's, uh, he's, uh, Wilfred, Wilmer, with your friend photographer. What? I'm interested in family. Can I meet you? Can I meet them? Can you meet it? Can I meet them? Can I meet them? Sure. That's not no. My sister uh, always she's another working in the United States. This is the month. This month. This month. And your brother? He's going in, in the Amazon. Okay. Now uh you start, Rebecca. Tell me about your brother and sister. Creo que le tocaba empezar a Rebecca hoy. Mm, no, ahí empezó. No, no. Rebecca empezó. Yo ahí empecé, le tocó. Oye, ah, ok, ok. Mm -hmm. Continue, Rebecca. Where my sister? Rebecca. Where well, my sister? Uh -huh. Where well, my sister work? For um, government, así. The government, ajá. Uh -huh. Oh, what does she do? Uh, I'm not sure. She is working very secret project really now. Oh. Working on a very secret project right now. Oh, and uh, what about your brother? She has been big photography. Yeah. That's in the family. Can I meet it? Can I meet meet it? Him? Sure, but sure, but no. My sister and wife. Yes, she's not working in the two systems. Stay small. And your brother. She's probably in, in the Amazon. Okay, Amazon. very good. Now, what about your family? Family? Uh -huh. What about your family? Uh, let's get to us and make some questions. Do you have any brothers or sisters, Rene? No. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, repeat. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Ah, uh, yeah, I have two brothers. Two brothers? Uh huh. No uh, sister? No, no, only two brothers. What do they do? Uh, um, okay. Uh, he uh, his works and in, in uh to do my 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 two brothers uh, are uh, employees they are employees okay uh -huh. yeah 
Are they younger or older than you? Uh, I, I am uh, the younger. You are the youngest. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, that's the question. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Okay, if I want to ask you, ¿qué hace tu hermano? The question would be, what? What does your brother do? What does your brother do? Or oh, what does your sister do? What does your mother do? What does your father do? Yes? Uh, Are you married? Are you married? No, I am single. No. Yes, I am married. Okay, so I can mm -hmm. ask what does your wife do? What does your wife do? Mm -hmm. Another question that you make us. Are they older or younger than you? Oh, you can ask. How old are they? Okay. You can ask those questions in order to know about your family or your classmates' family. A volunteer to ask me some of those questions. You can ask me those questions, volunteer. Uh, okay, William. Yeah. Uh, for the first question. Uh huh. Uh, Any of these questions? Okay, I have a brother and a sister. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any brothers or sister? I ask you, William. Do you have any brothers or sister? Yes, I have one brother and one sister. Are they older or younger than you? Uh, my brother is older than me and my sister is younger than me. Okay, how old are they? Uh, my brother has... has uh, La edad se dice con el verbo to be in yeah. English. Okay. Is. The oldest is uh, 31. 31 years old? Okay. Yeah. yeah, 31 years old. And my sister uh, oldest is... My oldest 24. sister? My oldest sister is 20, 24. Say 24. Okay, good. Okay, what does your brother do? Uh, my brother works in a travel agency. What about your sister? Uh, my sister is in the United States. Okay. Are you married? No, I'm not. Okay, you can ask question to another classmate, William. Ask him, uh, pregúntele okay. a algún compañero. Eh, okay, Guadalupe. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Hello. Okay. Hello. Okay. Repeat the uh, question for another classmate. Okay. Uh, 
Cerritos. Eh. Who is Cerritos? Okay. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, and um, one brother and one sister. Are they older or younger than you? Uh, yes, my sister, 27. No. My, my sister, 27 years old, and my brother, 30 years old. And working, my brother, um, Isidro Metapan Soccer, and my sister working in Fedecases. Okay. Uh, are you married? No, he's a singer, is good. Okay. Okay. Now let's continue. You can ask another classmate, Victor. We no, este, ¿cómo se llama? El otro individuo. Uh -huh. no, René, Guadalupe. René, do you have a brother or sister? Yeah, I have two brothers. Uh, they are uh, all, all as, uh, than me. Uh, uh, one my brother uh, 20, uh, no, 33 year old. The oldest uh, is, the youngest is? The oldest is, the older is uh, Sonny. Mm -hmm. I don't know. ¿Qué edad tiene el mayor? Uh, 50, 55. Entonces, diga, the oldest is 35. The oldest uh, is 35. Okay, yeah, the oldest is, is 55 and yeah. the other is uh, no. uh, 49. 49, okay, continue. Uh, what are, uh, oh. let me how do, how old are they? How old are they? Eso es lo que le acaba de preguntar. ¿Qué edad tiene? Ah, bueno, ya se la respondió, René. What are your... ¿Qué decir esto? Brothers. What does your brother or sister? Ajá, ahí, ahí. What does your brother do? René. Right. What does your brother do? Uh, I understand. Ah, uh, they are employers. Employers. Ah, okay. Are you mm. married? Yes, I am Mario. What does uh, your Oh, see, the marriage is finished. Uh, finish. Last question? Wow. Yeah. Ya, ya dijo, ya tiró la toalla. Porque, mm -hmm. are, are you married? <laughs> Estás casado, ¿verdad? Sí, uh, yes. What does your wife do? La última. What does ah. your okay. <laughs> My wife uh, working in an in office. Okay. She works in an office. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's ask Guadalupe. Guadalupe, Rebecca. No le hemos preguntado a Guadalupe ni a Rebeca. Rebeca se conectó. Guadalupe, Guadalupe. Okay. Guadalupe. Mm -hmm. Hello. Uh, okay. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Uh, 
Guadalupe, do you have any brothers and sisters? Yes. Uh, I have tantos brothers, I have tantas sisters. Uh, uh, um, I brother, it's nine. Nine no, brothers. Nine. Nineteen brothers. Oh, nine bro nine. Yeah. Nueve. Nine. Nueve. Okay, nine brothers. Nine brothers. A big family. A very big family, Guadalupe. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, the second question is, are, are they older or younger than you? Guadalupe. <coughs> mm -hmm. Did you listen the question? Are they older or younger than you? Esa pregunta, Guadalupe, ¿qué significa? Si le dicen, are they older? Le pregunta si son mayores. Are they older? Or younger, or younger than you, or más jóvenes, or younger. Or, entonces son our, our Jordan. They are older. Son they mayores. are older. They are older. No, no, no. O tiene ambos, older and younger. No, they are on younger ah they are younger than you mm -hmm. Son más que yo. Que usted. ah okay entonces diga they are younger than me they are on younger than me. younger younger they they are younger older. they uh -huh. are younger than, than me, me. Uh -huh. They okay. are younger than me. The next question is, how old are, are they? How old are they? How old are they? ¿Qué edad tienen, Guadalupe? How old are they? This question, how old are they? How old are they? Uh -huh. mm. Ahí tengo que mencionar las edades de ellos. Uh -huh. oh. They are 44 years old. They are 44, 33, 28. Mm. O puede decir, uh, Luis is 17. Mario is 23, um, Beto is 35. Mm -hmm. um, uh, tell me uh, two brothers. The, 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 the all. Uh, for example, uh, uh, my brother uh, uh, 20, 25 years old and the other uh, 19 years old. Uh -huh. este, es que las, ed las edades de 39 para abajo hasta, hasta 30, pero... Entonces le dice el 39. 39. 39. Eh, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, Am, is, or are. No se dice have. Ah, okay. So, repetition. Uh, 
Ok, remember that. Es que siempre estamos pensando como en español, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. sí. Uh -huh. Y uh -huh. a veces es okay. el problema. Ok. Ok. The next question, eh, Guadalupe. Eh. Ah, ok. Oh, we can move to another thing here. The other topic that we have is this one. In this case, we are going to be practicing this kind of sentence, the present continuous. Do you remember the present continuous? Yes. Presente continuo. ¿Para qué nos sirve? Do you remember? ¿Qué indica ese tiempo, el presente continuo? Indica lo que se está haciendo eh, acción. O, lo que se, o lo que se está Ajá. haciendo en la acción. An action in progress. Ajá, una acción en progreso. That is happening in the moment that we are speaking. Uh -huh. That is okay. the present continuous form. To talk about an action that is in progress in the moment. Okay. Okay, so let's read some examples that we have here using the present continuous. Let's repeat. Are you living at are you living at home now? Are you living are you at, living home, at home, now? home now? One more time. Are you living at home now? Are, Are you, you living, living at, home, at home, now? home now? Is your sister working for the government? Is your sister Is working you for the government? Are Ed and Jill taking classes this year? Are Ed and Jill taking classes this year? Where are you working now? Where are you Where working, are you working now? now? What is your brother doing? What is your, what brother, is your brother doing? Doing. 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 Uh -huh. What is your brother doing? What, what is, is your brother, brother doing? Okay, one more time. Are you, vamos a leer la, la pregunta y las dos respuestas, just to practice pronunciation. Are you living at home now? Yeah. Are, Are you, you living, living at home now? Home now? Yes, I am. Yes, yes, I am. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. No, I. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Is your sister working for, for, the, for government? the government? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she's, no, not. she's not. not. No, she isn't. No, 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 she, she isn't. isn't. Are Ed and Jill taking classes this year? Are Ed and Jill taking classes this year? Yes, they are. Yes, yeah. they are. No, they are not. No, no they, they are, are not. not. No, they aren't. No, no they, they aren't. Are. Where are you working now? Where, Where are, are you working, working now? now? I'm not working. I need a job. I'm, I'm not working. working. I'm not working. I need a job. Yeah. What is your brother doing? What is your brother, your brother, brother, brother doing? doing? He's traveling in the Amazon. He's, He's traveling, traveling in the Amazon. The Amazon. Yeah. What are your friends doing these days? What are, what are your friends you doing? doing Okay, doing. doing. What are your friends doing these days? They are studying for the exam. They are, they studying, are studying, studying for the exam. exam. Okay. This is just an introduction for the grammar focus in the present continuous. Um, that is a topic that we will study more on Monday. So on Monday, we will okay. study more about present continuous, okay? Okay. And, and let me know if you have any topic that you would like to review, algún tema que le gustaría repasar para la próxima semana. Mm. Todavía no han pensado en ninguno. 
El de ayer, dicha. El de ayer. Sí. Ok, vamos a hacer otro repaso. Ese lo, lo repasamos un poco al principio de la clase. Sí, eh, pero ya, no. ya nos, nos fue mejor, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, sí. vamos a practicarlo otra vez, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, so another topic. Eh, no. Ok, so see you on Monday, take care and have a nice weekend. Thank okay. you, have a nice weekend. Ok, sleep well. Ah, yes. Bye bye. 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 Okay, bye, bye, teacher.